Today we're going to go over the assembly instructions for the extension 32 inch upright vertical arcade machine. It is recommended to watch this video completely before beginning your assembly process. You had seven controller color options black, blue, green, orange, purple, red, and yellow. Let's begin. Included hardware 14 60 millimeter black bolts, 20 silver cross dowels, six 80 millimeter black bolts, four M4 monitor screws, and four washers and spacers, eight back screws, one Allen wrench, and one grommet. Fully assembled controller. Now let's look at the included parts. Part number one, right side upright. Part number two, Part number three, this part will require four cross dowels. Part number four, this part will require two cross dowels. Please note there are six identical part number fours you will use. Part number five, part number six, left side upright. Part number seven, left side top upright. Part number eight, Part number nine, the TV mount. Part number 10, right side top upright. Part number 11, this part will require four cross dowels. This will be the very top of the cabinet. Clear plexiglass monitor bezel. And finally, the back. Additional tools required. One Phillips head screwdriver. Your first step is inserting the silver cross dowels into the cylinder pre-cut holes on these particular parts. Locate parts number 3, number 4, and number 11. Insert each cross dowel into each pre-cut cross dowel hole on the top of the board as shown. It is very important to make sure that the silver cross dowel slit is facing towards the pre-cut hole on the 3 quarter inch side. Make sure the slit is facing upwards or you will not be able to successfully connect your adjoining 60 millimeter bolt. Again, make sure you have your cross dowels properly inserted into parts number 3, number 4, and number 11. Preparing the monitor. Take your third party monitor and lie face down on a flat surface. Make sure that all HDMI cables and power cables are plugged in securely at this time. Locate the four nylon spacers and place them over the visa mount holes on the back of your monitor as shown. Carefully lay part number nine on top of the nylon spacers so you can successfully see the screw thread of the monitor through the holes. Now insert your four M4 screws and washers into the holes proceeding to tighten, therefore securing your monitor to part number nine. The assembly process. Lay part number one flat on the ground with the engravings facing up. Now locate part number two and securely peg part number two into place as shown. Now locate part number three and proceed to peg part number three into place firmly as shown. Make sure the engravings are facing inward. It is important to make sure all your cross dowels are inserted properly. Now locate part number four and proceed to peg part number four in place securely. Then make sure you insert firmly into place with the engravings facing inward. Now locate part number five. Proceed to peg part number five into place with the engravings facing inward. Now locate part number four and proceed to peg part number four in place securely. Then make sure you insert firmly into place with the engravings facing inward. Now locate part number four and proceed to peg part number four in place securely. Then make sure you insert firmly into place with the engravings facing inward. Closing the cabinet. Now locate part number six and carefully lay part number six on top of the assembled parts. Now proceed to line up all of the green pegs with their corresponded peg hole and with the palm of your hand pound with a downward motion once the pegs are lined up properly to make sure that the part is secure. Once all pegs are into place and the part is secure you can proceed to insert three of the black 60 millimeter bolts into the provided holes on the top of part number six. These 60 millimeter bolts will correspond to the cross dowels you previously installed and you can use the included Allen wrench to proceed to tighten the three bolts. 
Do not use the two bolt holes at the top of the cabinet at this time as that is where you will attach your controller at a later time. Now rotate your cabinet to the opposite side and perform the same exact steps by inserting the three 60mm bolts and proceed to tighten. Then rotate your cabinet to its upright position. Locate the grommet and insert the grommet into the grommet hole. Be sure to remove the center grommet cap so there is a nice clean edge for you to feed cables through. Locate part number 7. Lay part number 7 flat on the ground with the engravings facing up. Line up part number 9 with monitor attached. Peg part number 9 into place with the TV attached and firmly press down on the top making sure the part is firmly secure. Now locate part number 4 and proceed to peg part number 4 in place securely. Then make sure you insert firmly into place with the engravings facing inward. Now locate part number 4 and proceed to peg part number 4 in place securely. Then make sure you insert firmly into place with the engravings facing outward. Now locate part number 4 and proceed to peg part number 4 in place securely. And just like the step before, make sure the engravings are facing towards the back of the cabinet. Now locate part number 8 and proceed to peg in securely, again making sure the engravings are facing towards the back of the cabinet. Closing the cabinet. Now locate part number 10. Carefully lay part number 10 on top of the assembled parts. Now proceed to line up all of the green pegs with their corresponded peg hole and with the palm of your hand pound with a downward motion once the pegs are lined up properly to make sure that the part is secure. Once all pegs are into place and the part is secure, you can proceed to insert only two of the 60 millimeter black bolts into the provided holes on part number 10. These 60 millimeter bolts will correspond to the cross dowels you previously installed and you can use the included Allen wrench to proceed to tighten just those two bolts. Do not use the three bolt holes towards the top of the cabinet at this time. The two bolt holes at the top will be for the top section and the bolt hole on the bottom will be for your controller. Now carefully rotate your top section to its opposite side and proceed to bolt the two 60 millimeter bolts as shown. Then proceed to tighten the two 60 millimeter bolts. Preparing the plexiglass bezel. Slightly peel back all four corners of one of the protective coatings of the bezel and then proceed to peel back a full inch from each side so you then can proceed to insert the plexiglass into the grooves. Then turn the plexiglass over and completely remove the protecting coating from the other side. Do not remove it from the original side. Installing the plexiglass bezel. It is important not to touch the unprotected side of the bezel at this time, so by using two hands you will carefully insert the bezel into the provided grooves. Once the bezel is in the tracks, you can use your hands from the bottom to slowly maneuver the bezel down into place. Now rotate your cabinet to its upright position. Now using two people, carefully lift the top section and place it on the top of the base section in the provided grooves as shown. Now feed all of your monitor cords through the hole. Centering your screen. The visa mounts are horizontally adjustable. If you did not install your monitor center, you can easily adjust it by loosening the Phillips head visa mount screws and centering your monitor into position. Once you have your monitor symmetrical, you can retighten your visa mount screws with your Phillips head screwdriver to secure your TV or monitor into place. Locate part number 11. Line up the groove in part number 11 with the plexiglass bezel and make sure the bezel falls into the groove securely. Then lay part number 11 flat so it closes the top of the cabinet. Then proceed to insert two 60 millimeter cross dowels on each side and proceed to tighten with your included Allen wrench. Installing the controller. Slide the controller into place as shown making sure you line up the three holes with their corresponding holes on the inside of the cabinet. You will then need to insert three of the 80 millimeter bolts on each side and proceed to tighten with the included Allen wrench. Then repeat the same step for the opposite side. Additional details on the functionality of the controller you selected will be included in separate instructions. 
peeling the plexiglass cover. Now simply peel back the remaining protective coating off of your plexiglass. Now locate the back part. Line up each top and bottom back part and screw into place in the provided holes. You will want to make sure that the black part is facing forward. Helpful tip. If you are having trouble getting the back parts into place, simply loosen some of the 60 millimeter bolts on the side of the upright. Connecting to your device. Now you can connect your HDMI cable and controller connection to your desired device and begin hours of enjoyment with great retro gameplay. Congratulations, you have now successfully assembled your arcade machine.